Welcome YouTube back to Let's Quickly Play Space Invaders. Now we are on the second level of the game um, on planet ne Neptune and the profile name of the special aliens of this level is going to be Switchers as you can see from the model there. Um, you have to hit this thing twice to be able to kill it but you'll see that in the level um, and I think I'm just gonna kick straight into it and keep ranting to you about the game. Um, from the boss of last level, my stats have carried over, so that means I still have single shot and don't have shield because I died. Um, but now that we are now that we recognize all of the ordinary aliens from the levels, usually the special aliens of the levels grant better abilities, like super abilities, than the normal ones. So you usually need to be aiming to get those, and hopefully I'll be able to at least twice showcase um, the special moves for each alien. Like, let's try and do it now. So swarm missiles, I just press down and it randomly sort of targets enemies, and that's fine. And sometimes they target the same kinds of enemies, and that way you can get lots. But not only are there attacks, um, not only are their shields double, but their attacks are double, so you'd have to shoot them twice. I'll sort of left to clear that entire row. Vertical, and that. So it's quite intuitive to be able to clear them all. Um, so you need to be on your toes a bit. So level 4. And thankfully, um, it's not too difficult to sort of learn the controls for. I mean, for this entire game I'm only really using I'm using four keys to control and then like enter to accept things so it's easy enough and with double shot when they're in really close range you can rapidly do it now max energy just fills up the bar of any special abilities you've already gotten um, can't remember if I showcased that in the previous episode oh just lost my shield so I've got to be wary of getting a new one I'm going to just utilize these shields a bit more. The shields get more and more damaged over time and then are destroyed when they're used up completely. Enemy attacks, your bullets, and enemies hitting them will r all remove them. So the motherships don't do anything in, in this uh, mothership level than just give you points and of course the extra life with the fifth one. Um, but I'm not sure whether when you reach a certain number of points you actually get an extra life. Um, don't quote me on that, but you might do. Or if you, when you kill bosses, maybe you get an extra life. I'm not particularly sure, I can't remember all of the mechanics of the game. But I'm just going to sort of just mow through all of these. Um, the game is um, no harder in two player. So basically the game is easier with more than one person because you face the exact same aliens every time. Just obviously like the extra lives that you would gain through the mothership level you wouldn't have to share. Like um, here I'm taking all the lives for myself so I anticipate getting a lot of lives by the end of the game um, providing I don't fail. Um, I'm going to guarantee you now I'm not going to lose the game um, even if I were to run out of lives, I would just play back up to that level and carry it on. Because I want to showcase the entire game. Um, and there'd be no point in quitting early. With something like with the previous Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmoor, it was okay just to quit when I died. This is a nice level, I can just spam swarm missiles really nicely. Another max energy. Okay, just a vertical burst. Um, but hopefully the game will be dynamic enough for you to still be interested in watching. Oh yes, um, I got that wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I've already given you misinformation. There are um, twelve. There are eleven levels in each sort of, in each thing, in each world, each planet. That's right, because um, the ten normal levels and of course the boss. 
And this one, you need to try and kill its wings quite early, or it'll start going mad. There, because it stops when you destroy one of its wings. Uh, and here, you just need to try and clear it nice and quick. And I can't actually shoot through these, so I'm just going to have to dodge them until he stops. Oh, I'm out of practice. And there we go. And the head is really easy to kill, because he mostly just sort of spazzes around for a bit. And that's the boss killed. So there we go, for Neptune I hit 99% of all my shots I think, and killed 391 aliens, um, and it took me 5 minutes to complete. So obviously the levels for Space Invaders, or all of these videos are going to be relatively short, depending on how much I die, that kind of thing, but that that's okay because I want to showcase each individual level separately. So I'm going to thank you for watching this second part of Let's Play Space Invaders and I'll see you next time.